Hi fam, how are you all doing? Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. <sighs> Guys, I just picked up this camera. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm laughing, but the reason I picked up this camera is just to show you guys my current, should I say level? Yeah, just to show you guys my current level. Let me adjust my dress so that it will, it will accurately depict my position now or my level. Just see me. By the way, baby boy is here. He's fast asleep. And you can tell that I'm in the driver's. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, I'm chilling. Seriously, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I can't even know how to it. So, I just, like I said, I want to update you guys. My life don't change, yo. I didn't realize what I was missing till yesterday. So, yesterday we traveled from Sheffield to Leeds for um reunion my husband's fellowship back in university they did a uh, reunion those here in the uk so it's held in leeds and then uh, we went from sheffield to leeds um last night and um from there this morning we left that program halfway and we drove to Bolton for um an anniversary of uh Boating branch of our church. And from Boating, we are going back to Sheffield now. One hour, one hour, about one hour, 30 minutes drive. So just check out this journey. Sheffield to Leeds, Leeds to Boating, Boating back to Sheffield. This has been my position. I don't realize what I've been missing. Ah, God don't bless my life. Oh. In essence, husband man has been the one cruising. He's been my driver. <laughs> Oh, man has been my driver, guys. Honestly, yeah. I, I just like, so I'm just there. Yeah. I posted a video today. Yeah. And I was just sat here editing the video. I edited at the back while I was here, did everything, uploaded it, and just had the comfort here. Yeah. Just me and baby boy. Of course, I would have loved to sit, um, at the passenger seat in front, but baby boy, it was, it's a long journey, you guess, or they are long journeys. So I had to stay with him. Just me here, he's fine. But if someone was there, he'll just be crying. Yeah. So I've just been enjoying myself. But like I said, I didn't realize what I was missing until this day. So safe to say that my husband, husband man, is now a pro in driving. Honestly, I've been proud of him. He really made me proud just driving. And the way he's now cruising on motorway. We are currently on motorway. Like we'll drive up almost 50 something miles on the motorway. He's just been the one driving. Yeah, husband, man, well done. Just know that we appreciate you, okay? And uh, probably you know how it feels. Because I remember there, see, I've not done that to you. Let me tell you, I'll still do it to you. I'll be driving, my husband will be pressing his phone. He'll you know be, even, I'll even try to, match. or he'll be no, watching no, match. No, it's, like, it's not only match. You can even be checking your WhatsApp, you are chatting. And we will be talking to him. Initiating conversation, this man, you will be carried away. Eh, eh, what did you say? And of course, I, I get mad. I'm like, look at you. I'm just here driving, driving you. Eh? And all you are doing is to be pressing your phone or where? <laughs> then, then, today, today, you're something you're to see, so no, but, but I you. engage you. I engage more than you usually do then. Yeah, I engage you. I'll be the one that will just be like, how many me? Look at this. I'll be talking to you. I don't press my phone. The only reason I did that was because I was editing video. You know, I'm not a WhatsApp person. I can go off WhatsApp for for one year I won't be bothered yeah so yeah I'll still prepare you that one I'll just cross my leg in that front next to you I'll not even talk to you I'll be engrossed just looking at my phone if you talk to me I'll say eh yeah I'm that petty I don't care <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, we've had a very eventful weekend. This weekend has been eventful. I was not just in the mood to vlog. Oh my gosh, the hotel we stayed in Leeds, and Leeds is beautiful, guys. I know that in one of my videos, I told you guys about Bradford. <laughs> I beg, Leeds is beautiful. Leeds is beautiful. Bradford is like backyard because obviously like i said i went to city center in backyard yeah and of course it was our first time in Leeds. it's my first time in Leeds ever uh, we didn't go into Leeds, eh? The second time. yeah my husband's second time we didn't enter Leeds list it was mostly at the city center but the city center is beautiful it's safe to say that the city center seems to be even be to be more beautiful than sheffield city center my husband she was, was saying that yeah sheffield is older yeah but i love Leeds. it's beautiful it's beautiful. Leeds is beautiful. I know, like I said, I didn't enter inside. But the little I see, I mean, the little I saw, 
It is beautiful. Yeah. Let me stop ranting now. But yeah, we've had a very eventful weekend. The hotel we stayed in was so beautiful and nice. Honestly, the organizers of that program outdid themselves. They really tried. The hotel was very nice and uh, we had a very good time. And now we are heading back home. And I just thought to talk to you guys. See you guys in the remaining part of this vlog. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings. So, guys, um, I'm in the kitchen, but I want to show you guys something. Um, I've already finished processing it, but I'm going to show you guys the stage it is it's at now. And later on, I'm going to show you guys the point, like the end result. Hello, Bobo. Hey, my baby. Come. Yay. Come, 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 come. Anna, Alpha. Say hi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay guys yeah like i said i want to show you guys something um sorry about the noise that's my pressure my pressure fault i'm currently cooking what's wrong with my <laughs> i'm currently cooking beans but i just want to show you guys something i just finished processing and uh, later on i'm going to you know show you guys the outcome some of you might know of this but just in case for someone that doesn't know about it or you are scared to give it a try um i want to experiment it because i've seen it in a video in a video but well, let me see how it goes so i bought ripe plantain a few weeks back obviously i put them in my fridge and um can you guys see look how dark they are okay you know when my husband saw the color he already gave up and said that these plantains are bad but that's the good thing about putting plantains in the fridge when i bought them i had plans of using them and also doing what i finally did today but then i didn't get the chance to do them and they got to this stage of being very black my husband thought they'd spoiled but if you touch them they are still hard and of course they've not spoiled so i'm just showing you the state see how black it is but that's the good thing like the importance of putting plantains in the fridge they stay longer this has been here for over three weeks yeah and um look at this so this is what i have done let me see how many layers i've got i've got one two three yeah four so i have four layers of this of course i cut them in different sizes so this is the plantain you can see it's not bad can you believe that this is from this see how black they are but they've been in the fridge bubble i'm coming but then see them so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put them in the freezer um thanks to joyful cook anyways she was the one that you know i watched her video on this method of storing plantain i felt about putting them in the freezer but i think if you do them this way it's better when you package them eventually so i'm going to put them in my freezer and leave them for about 45 hours and then later on i'm going to you know pack them in a ziploc bag guys this is this is something normally my people Igbo people will say na afule kena unpo. what that means is that you know we use that expression to depict when something very very unusual happens so something unusual happens still on the plantain matter because tell me why i have so many ripe plantains in my house anyway so did i bought that plantain i showed you guys right i also bought a ripe plantain I don't even know. Um, of course, I got it that day. I think that same day or the following day, um, I cooked plantain porridge with, with it, which we have. And after that, the plantain, I just sometimes, I just forgot about it. Where it is, I put it where I put my yams. But I kind of forgot about it. The next thing I saw that it was beginning to ripe. But I thought that, you know, the green plantains in this country, if you guys know, they don't ripe right? I don't know. But that's why I say that this is something like very unusual that happened. Tell me why this plantain ripe and ripe very well. Guys, look. You can tell that this is not, you know, I don't know. But look, this plantain is ripe. Not one, no. All of it. <laughs> Let me show you guys. I was so shocked the day I saw that all of them have fully ripe. These were, one oh, just fell down. These were green plantains. I bought them as green plantains. Now they have ripe. 
At least they're not as bad as the other one. So I want to put them in my fridge now. Um, when I bring out these, the, the ones I've put in the freezer, I put them in my freezer now. I'm going to cut them and do the same thing because I'm not going to let it get to this stage that this other one got to. They are so nice and very soft. Like, it's interesting. Like, I'm not wondering what breed of plantain is this because green plantains in this country, to the rest of my knowledge, they never ripe. But see me having to do with so many this one but thank god for joyful cook yeah shout out to her she was one that i watched her videos about this method of storing um plantain i've always known that you can store your plantain in the freezer the same way i've done yam while i was a student i've not done it for a long time now i know you can store and freeze stuff especially when you are abroad and there's constant power supply but that method that her method i get the reason behind it because they will stand alone so the one one it will jump together and then when you bring them out they are not so good so i just want to show you guys you know like this plantain really wowed me the way it right i have never seen a green plantain in this country they right they'll just start drying that's all they do i was hoping that you know this week i'm going to cook ripe uh, or ripe plantain but here we are <laughs> guys my plantain is just out of the freezer it's been over 24 hours i never had time to do this and um so i'm going to do this now so remember um i had um one two three four four layers of plantain you can see it's frozen yeah it's frozen so what i want to do now is to pack them in a ziploc bag yeah it's that simple really and i just realized that my ziploc bag is remaining just two just two oh my god i have just two ziplocs but let's see it can actually it might be able to serve me yeah i'm just going to wash my hands now and um see because i divided it in three actually but one was just anyway like three sets different uh, shapes yeah that's what i did but i'm just going to show you guys let me quickly wash my hand and i'll just package it and see if they can actually enter this two ziplocs bag that i have okay let's see how it goes i hope you guys can see this clearly um so i'll just pack them so they are already um frozen yeah so i'm just going to put them inside the ziploc bag in this frozen state um when i'm done with this i'm going to cut up the other ones and use all these baking um papers yeah so i use the same parchment paper for the other one because they're already almost turning black inside the fridge and i don't want them to be as bad as this one losing time i'm fading fast i just want to make it last try to let go of the past i close my eyes embrace the blast sleepless nights and headaches stack restlessness to hell and back what's my purpose what do i grab a slippery surface a heart attack and sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief there's something that'll have what you need what you mean? We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness of So guys, this is what I got in total So basically, I wanted to divide them into three portions Because I have only two ziplocs I made it into two so you can see there are two shapes on this one the ones that i called i cut around and the ones that i cut kind of slant i don't know if you guys can see but i think i showed you guys in one of the clips so basically this badge is for frying this is one that i will fry and this one is for cooking beans the one that i diced into cubes yeah so i'm just going to put them straight in the freezer now and in case you are wondering how to use it you use them from frozen state just bring it out okay and pour into the food directly you don't need to defrost else, else it will become soggy yeah and of course this one too you fry straight probably one of these days if i manage to you know do this um and then i'll show you guys how i use it okay 
<sighs> you see what I'm talking about? See the one, the last one I showed you guys previously. I put them in the freezer and look, they are turning black already. They are not as soft yet. So I'm just going to process them the same way, but I'm not going to bore you guys to show you all of that. I'm going to do it off camera and I'll talk to you guys later. So guys, um, please ignore my look. I'm so sorry. Just ignore this look, okay? I'm sorry I drew your attention to it, but anyways. I know one of my videos, I showed you guys what I got from Tesco and told you about how my husband, I gave him um, oat fufu, like part of emergency. I didn't know our garage has finished. I wanted to make a bar and I realized it has finished. So I just blended some oats and he was like, what's this swallow? It's really nice. Then when I told him it was oat, he was like, ah, you see, because he's been telling me about, you know, a healthy option like this oat for us to be eating as swallow. So it was like, I love this. So let's do it. Of course, you guys know it's expensive, right? Of course, I showed you guys in that vlog how we went to Tesco. I'm not going to tell you guys the Fuji. Something led to something. We had to go and buy this, um, um, the growers um, harvest, um, 90p each, uh, 1 kg. And uh, we got 10 of it to make for 10 kg, yeah? So, just leave my hand. I've just been blending, yeah. Thank God for my Udobu blender, Buchi mix. <laughs> you know what? I've just been checking my, you know, this thing that we used to track our um, energy consumption. I'm not even sure it, it was up to 50p. It wasn't up to 50p. It wasn't even up to 30p. Because when I started this, it was one, what? It's now one pounds 90 that we've spent today and it's currently um 6.45 so to 7. usually we spend less than one pound since we since this is summer in winter we spend two pounds something during winter we don't even spend up to three pounds i'm not kidding you guys we are very low or very mindful of our energy consumption in this house we usually don't spend a lot so anyways i've just been blending i've blended six bags already that's six kg <laughs> i just wanted to show you guys because um I felt like giving you guys an update. So this is the 6 kg. Mind you, this stuff is um, how many liters? I think this is about 25 liters. This stuff that we bought. Yeah, so I've blended 6. Um, the last one is just in there. I finished blending that one. I want to stop because, you know, when you finish blending it, it will be very hot. But it's cooled down now, to be fair. But look at this. Very like the powder. Let me tell you guys. Pucci mix is what it says it is. Yeah, it is really because I've just been blending. If it were to be blend my old blender, if I just blend, 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 it will stop and rest, take its time to chill, then it can start working again. But this one I've blended, I've gone like about eight times because one kg, one of it doesn't feel like um, the blender doesn't accommodate one of these. So it usually, uh, you know, takes almost. It almost finishes. So let's say I've gone, I've blended six bags. So I must have gone like eight times now. And it's still going. Yeah, so I'm really happy at least. That's the reason I, I decided to do this because I know I have a very good blender. Let me let me spend my money. It's not just tomato that other blenders can do. Is that why I went and bought the mix? Yeah. So it's very economical if you ask me. Just look at what I've gotten already. I mean, at least it's just like less than six pounds if that makes sense all these things there is less than six pounds yeah and then if you check the energy i used to do it like i said it wasn't even up to 30 pounds it wasn't up to 30 pounds so what did i lose than going to buy the one i saw at the african shop uh one kg was four pounds something one kg of oats and look at this check it now guys please don't come for me i know some people might think it's Poor, um, poverty mentality or whatever. Um, I'm cutting my coat according to my clothes, I'll be my size, whichever one you believe is the correct one. Because what's the point? You know, it, don't, it didn't stress me. And should I tell you guys, doing this, I've not even spent up to 20 minutes because the timer is usually 60 seconds and, you know, it blends it perfectly. Of course, the butchie mix. I've not even spent, let's just say that I've spent 12, 15 minutes doing this. So I didn't even waste time. So I feel this is better for me. If you have a good blender, you might just consider this. And we have a healthy option to eat, I believe. Oh, it is healthy, isn't it? Yeah, and then I've made my obolo soup. Obolo. I was telling you guys in that, in that vlog about my obolo. My obolo is ready. And I'm going to just 
make this live. I'm so hungry. Today is Sunday. I ate um moi moi my what is it called my red lentil moi moi. I showed you guys in that last vlog. I just ate one and I went to church and drank a cup of um apple juice that was what i ate and i'm not eating anything apart from the refreshment in church which was cake and another snack i no longer take soda like all these um drink coke or whatever so i didn't take any of that i drink i drank water so since i came back i'm not eating anything so i'm really hungry and look at the time it's almost seven o'clock so i need to eat now husband man um ate the morning, morning when we came back um he drank tea in the morning so he's not eating now so i told him i can't wait for you please one is I need to eat on time and secondly, I'm really hungry. 